Good morning, everyone. I would like to welcome everybody here present uh, and online also who is following us today uh, in this rainy morning. Uh, our main topic today will be mental health and mental toughness. And I believe that everyone following sports after 2021 uh, Tokyo Olympics, uh, mental health and mental toughness among sports uh, became a main focus. And uh, in the light of that, we organized this uh, webinar uh, where we will have three fantastic presenters talking about uh, mental toughness and how we can improve uh, um, our sports uh, through mental uh, techniques. Uh, first of all, I would like to introduce uh, Fabio Fossetti, who is a, uh, a great uh, presenter. We had an opportunity to hear about him before. He is our mental coach of Radgeber Academy, uh, also FIBA Europe instructor. And uh, right now, he's also a mental coach of Virtus Bologna. And please give a round of applause to Fabio. Come on, Fabio. <laughs> It's a great pleasure to be here with you. So, and uh, in uh, this uh, event, uh, uh, we are speaking uh, about uh, something different because, as a coach, uh, every time uh, we are focused uh, a lot uh, on the technique. And the technique is a very important thing for us because if we don't have the technology technique, we, we can teach basketball in this case. But, uh, so if you see the title of this series is Arms, Legs, or Anything More. Uh, we are focused on anything more. Uh, because uh, uh, if uh, we have uh, some knowledge about, uh, to transmit uh, our knowledge in the best way, for sure, we can be a really good coach. And uh, I want to tell you in advance uh, how is my thought. If uh, we want to be the best uh, coaches for uh, our player, we must be in advance before the best coach for ourselves. And uh, for this reason, for this reason, I think. Uh, to know something about the mental training uh, can be a very important support for our job. I, I want to tell you something uh, uh, why I decided in my career to change focus on my job. Uh, I, I have been player, professional player for uh, 20 years in uh, first division and also coaches for 25 years uh, before in the men team and after the female team, and uh, I had uh, some results, but uh, I made uh, a thousand mistakes in my life. And uh, in, a, in a moment of the, my life, uh, I asked to myself, why? And I decided to change because uh, uh, I would like to know uh, how uh, could make the better than my job. And uh, for this reason, uh, I, I try to study. I go to the state, uh, ge uh, getting uh, a certification as a mental coach. In advance, I tell you, I don't like uh, mental coach <laughs> awards. Because when uh, we speak about the mental uh, people, <laughs> Sometimes they are in trouble because the time of the mental, and they say, hey, I'm not crazy. So, but this, uh, people think about mental coach. I'm a mental coach. I'm a mental coach. And uh, I'm studying since uh, 10 years, uh, trying to, um, to learn uh, what does it mean to be a total coach. And uh, so, this is my career, but uh, I, I want to uh, start with uh, this slide. I don't know if uh, you know this man. This man, uh, this year during the Olympic Games, is Italian. Eh? Uh, the name is uh, uh, Marcel Jacobs. He won the gold medal. 
and uh, it's been great for the Italy because uh, he's uh, the fastest, uh, the quicker uh, man in the world. And uh, after, um, um, after the Olympic game, uh, people may, uh, made an, an interview about him. And uh, he said, okay, uh, I work a lot and uh, I spend a lot of time on the te technique, on the physical preparation, but uh, my performance change when I met a mental coach. And from that moment, in my country, in Italy, <laughs> an unbelievable thing, because all people start to, sp uh, to speak about the coaching, uh, men the mental coaching, and about me, I receive, I don't know, in a week, maybe uh, 50 proposals to work uh, as a mental coach. Unbelievable, unbelievable. But so, if uh, you read the story of the great players or the great athletes in Olympic games, always uh, in an in interview, they spoke uh, how has been very important, not just work uh, on the technique, on the physical, but working on the mental training, with the mental training. And today, we are going to see something. The mental training is a very tough job, because uh, when uh, you work uh, for improving uh, uh, a physical skill, you need, for example, six months if you want to improve uh, uh, the strength, if you want to improve in the basketball, the shoot, uh, the dribble. Okay, you must dedicate a lot of the time. That is the same when, uh, uh, if you decide to work on the mental training. Hey, you, can, you, can, you can't do just, uh, I don't know, one practice about the mental training and uh, you uh, can think that you resolve all troubles. No, absolutely. Uh, the mental training is a long walk, long walk. The same, the same job that we use to improve our physical skill, technical skill. Uh, we, must, uh, we must understand that, and we must focus on that. Working by mental training, the athletes improve their performance. This is our uh, goal. But they grow up also with the fun, with the fun, also their personal gratification. And uh, as I already said, uh, and uh, I, I, I want to tell it again, Working on the mental training, on, on working on the mental program, we must dedicate the same time that we, we, uh, we used to dedicate in uh, our job as a coach, but not just in the basketball, but in the whole sport. And uh, why? Because uh, we need uh, a very strong athletes, very strong athletes. This is a, a part of uh, our job. Okay, I, I want to tell you uh, in advance. So, as I said uh, uh, at the beginning, uh, coaches are too much focused on their technical knowledge. That is great. That is great. But sometimes what happens? So we focus on the uh, technique uh, knowledge and uh, we try to teach something. And we realize that our uh, player, they have a trouble because maybe they make the mistake. Uh, they go on making the mistake and we don't know why. And sometimes uh, we said, hey, okay our player are not so good. But maybe there is a, a little mistake in ourselves because maybe we aren't so able to transmit in the right way our knowledge. And here we can speak, for example, about uh, the communication. It's very important to have a good uh, 
uh, a good idea about the communication. The after, uh, Bonnie and uh, Anita uh, will speak uh, about uh, the communication. That if, as a coach, we realize that it's very important to grow up, not just about the technical knowledge, but also to know something else, okay, it's great, it's great. You see here, the, there is some uh, question, and uh, I use this question when uh, I have the approach with the coaches. Uh, the first question is, uh, how much time do you dedicate for preparing a competition? The answer is, for example, okay, uh, some coaches say, hey, we, we work uh, 10 hours a week. And uh, how much time you dedicate about your physical training? I don't know, maybe three hours a week. And now is uh, the very step important for me here, because I said, my in a game, how much is important the strong mentality? And uh, always the answer is, hey, is very important. And also if you follow, for example, some interview of the coaches, soccer coaches, basketball coaches, at the end uh, of the game, and uh, if this coach uh, lost the game, and he, he used to say, he used to say, hey, our opponent were strong than us, not just technically, but also they have uh, more mentality, they, have, um, they are stronger in, uh, in their mind. But what does it mean? And how much you dedicate about mental training? And after this question, people, people ask, well, we don't know how is, uh, how is uh, to work on the, the mental training, and uh, we don't have time. And uh, so uh, we, we must do uh, a lot of the things. And uh, they, they don't realize uh, it's very important to dedicate time to work uh, on the training mentality. Uh, in a, during a, a, a day, during the, the, a week, uh, Players are sometimes in a difficult situation. So, and because maybe in their life outside the sport, they are living troubles with the family, with the, with the, I don't know, with the parents. So, and in this period, this period, their performance can can. Uh, can be uh, uh, not so good. Uh, for this reason, we can help them, we can help them to, uh, uh, to go on. Uh, we, can, uh, we can help them to have uh, a good result. But how? How? Okay, I want to tell you something very important. Okay, in my job, in my job as a mental coach, I don't like too much uh, to have a position between the coach and the players. My mission, my mission, a great word, my mission is to help the coaches and uh, the player, they don't know that the coaches are working with the mental coach. And uh, my mission is to help the coach to understand that, as I said, very important to have the knowledge um, the technical coach, but it's very important how to help the player when the, these players are in the trouble. That is our job. And uh, so uh, many times, uh, okay, players uh, um, uh, miss the... Uh, trust, uh, misconfidence, uh, and we must uh, work uh, with them. Okay, it's very important. This is a step very important because, uh, because uh, uh, as a coach, you, we must realize that. So, 
the most important thing is the relationship that we build with our athletes. It's important the basketball, one, three, one zone defense, uh, pick and roll. So. But the most important thing is the relationship that we have with the, our players. OK, you see three superstar play, uh, the athletes. Uh, Bolt, uh, his story is great because before, before, uh, before uh, uh, his performance, great performance, so uh, he used to work four months, four months uh, in uh, using the, some uh, uh, me mental exercise to be ready uh, to go in the their performance. This one, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan uh, uh, worked with uh, Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson, you know, is a, a, a maestro zen because uh, um, he worked a lot uh, with uh, the mindfulness. Uh, his uh, mental coach uh, was uh, uh, George Manford. George Manford wrote down a book, a book, very important book. Uh, the strong mentality. And uh, during the, the interview after, uh, uh, after the, the last uh, title with the Chicago, uh, Jordan said, okay, it's been very important for us uh, because uh, uh, George Manford helped us and uh, our coach uh, during uh, the, the final, the other team, uh, preparing the game in the gym. We preparing the game in uh, our uh, bedroom meditating. Psst, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Last one is Cristiano Ronaldo. Here just uh, <laughs> with, with the, the uniform of the Ju Juventus. Uh, this, this, this player work a lot about um, his uh, uh, technique, about a lot his um, uh, body, but is very important, has been also has been, uh, very important. He, he, has, uh, he has got a, a, a great mental coach that helped him to be ready. In he, uh, I, I think he's one of the best soccer players. Uh, he, he is uh, more than 35 uh, years, but he's great. But he's great is mentality. And mentality, you can build the mentality. Menta you can build the mentality step by step, working a lot, as I said, not just focusing on uh, uh, the technique, but uh, focusing on your mind, on your mind. Focusing, uh, uh, giving time to see how will be your performance? Uh, there is an um, exercise, and uh, we are going to see. The name is visualization. Visualization is the best exercise in the world because with the visualization, we can build a film, our film, and we see in our film our performance in the maximum situation. It's, Normal. We, we, is, uh, we have uh, this uh, skill uh, inside, but uh, we forgot. We forgot. And in the sport, for example, visualization is one of the best absolute exercise. As I already said, but many athletes, many coaches don't work about the mental training. Why? Because. Uh, they don't know. OK, during the pandemia, I'm sure in Hungary, but in all countries in Europe, uh, there were a lot of the webinars, a lot of the webinars. And in all the webinars, people spoke about the technique. Never, never, never they spoke about the mental training. Never, never. Because the people don't, don't know. Don't know this is the right way to, uh, to reach the results. And uh, to be here for me is great. 
because I tried to send a message, because as I said, okay, I did a lot of the mistake in my life, because if in advance uh, I could know uh, something about the mental training, probably <laughs> I wasn't here with you. I was in the Seychelles playing golf. So, but uh, I did it. And also I, I asked to myself, why? Maybe uh, I could, uh, I could uh, win, uh, I don't know, more title, but uh, I didn't have a good relationship with my players, uh, with my girls. And uh, I, I lived uh, the game so, with a great anxiety. And because I didn't know how to manage my anxiety. And if you have anxiety, if you are in the bench, hey, you transmit your anxiety to your, uh, your player. It's very important to check your body language. Your body language is very, very important. How many, how many times you see during the mistake, coach? I saw also yesterday during the game, hey, because the mistake, uh, the coach, they have the reaction, uh, they, uh, the bad reaction against the player, but it's normal, it's normal. If you don't know that with this reaction, sometimes you can build a troubles for your player, because your player, when uh, they make uh, a mistake, they know that they made, made a mistake. And they, they don't need a coach that, hey, you did this mistake. Why? Bah, bah, bah. They need a person that say, okay, you did a mistake. But now it's normal to make the mistake. Go on and give the right suggestion how what we can do. And don't focus just on the mistake. Okay, here there is a list uh, when uh, uh, we work uh, in the right way, to, uh, dedicating uh, uh, time uh, in uh, uh, mental training. So these are a good goal, a good result. For example, the player, they are more confident in themselves. Uh, they know how to check the motion. They have a better communication. I, I, I already spoke about the communication. Communication is uh, one of the most important uh, uh, things, uh, in, not just in the sport, but in, in uh, all the life. If, if you have a good communication, your life is great. It's great. It's great. A positive imaging, positive focus. Uh, for example, what happened? So uh, it, it's a typical for a lot of the player. When the player make the mistake, uh, the first idea is always the same. Okay, I made this mistake. I always make this mistake. Why? And he goes on think the mistake and. How is the, the situation? In the next action, for sure, he will make the same mistake. He will make the same mistake. So using the mental training, we give them some solution to forget the mistake, but before forgetting to accept the mistake. Because if I accept the mistake, okay, I can do something to improve. And uh, for example, in the mindfulness, the most important rules is to think that now we are here now. We don't think about the past, we don't think about the future. It's very simple, so just a word. But back there, there is a long job a long uh, period of spending time to, uh, to realize, to have uh, the idea that the most important thing is now here. When we make the mistake, we must forget the mistake right now. And we, uh, we don't think about what happened in the future. We must go on. 
We must go on. So as I already said, very easy speaking, but in not so easy. Uh, we must work a lot. That means to be a, a complete coach, a coach 360 degree. Because, believe me, the difference between a great coach is just in this detail. In my opinion, there aren't good coach or the bad coach. There are some coach that are interested. And uh, some coach that aren't interested. But at the end, the coach that are interested to grow up, to grow up, probably are the coach that they will have the, the results. They have the, the results. This is normal. This is normal. If, uh, as a coach, I'm just happy because uh, I know something and uh, I think that uh, my knowledge are enough uh, to work, and uh, I like to stay in uh, my comfort uh, situation, okay, probably I will have some result. But uh, it will be very difficult to grow up. Uh, the difference between uh, uh, the uh, interested coach and uh, not interested coach is to go out of uh, our um, comfort, uh, uh, comfort zone. And sometimes going out, we, for sure, we, we make a mistake, but we must accept the mistake. So because without the mistake, we can't grow up. And many times we, have, uh, we are afraid because uh, uh, we are in comfortable situation because we know exactly how is your job. But we have an, just an idea how is your job. But our job is the great. The big mistake, for example, is when a, a coach, after a, a winning season, uh, he can think, this my system is uh, the best system. When the coach starts to think that his system is the best, uh, the, the best system, okay, believe me, <laughs> he starts to fail. Because you have to adapt your system with your players. You have to change it. For changing, you have to go out from your comfort uh, zone. Okay, we go on. Uh, uh, we, we have player uh, more determined. And uh, for sure, when uh, the player uh, uh, has uh, good, uh, good confidence, uh, good uh, imagine by uh, your, uh, himself, uh, good uh, uh, folks, for sure is this, player, this player can have a good, uh, a good performance. When a player has a good performance, uh, building in himself uh, uh, his confidence and also uh, enjoyed for himself and uh, he, he likes too much uh, to come in the gym, uh, working tough and uh, go on. Okay, one of the most important things uh, is when we try to teach the mental training and to put the, our player in self-regulation. If you work for a long period, uh, they will be ready, they will know how to work when uh, for example, they are in uh, some trouble situation. As I said, it's a long period. Because uh, uh, in their career, for example, if they, don't, if, if they know how to work, okay, they reach the self-regulation. This is our job, okay. We must uh, uh, be close to the player always. But uh, after the play, must go on alone. And this is one uh, of our goal. And uh, sometimes some players 
uh, don't realize that they are living a, a bad moment. So they don't have the awareness. And they don't, uh, they aren't uh, conscious. And we can help them. But if we help them, okay, we give them the support and they understand after and they will be ready in the future to work uh, for themselves. Hey, I hope uh, to be clear. If uh, I have a question after, please, now. Uh, think something about the question, because what happened during the clinic? So just, uh, I'm speaking, I do not speak about the technique. I'm speaking about this, uh, about uh, uh, the mental training. And uh, I know the people, uh, people or person uh, have a question. But at the end of the clinic, okay, there is a, a question time. And say, uh, anyone have the question? No one has a question. But at the end of the clinic, and then when the, the people uh, are going away, someone uh, keep me and they say, hey, coach, uh, you can tell, me, hey, if you have a question, if you have a question, it's a question very important, not just for you, but uh, for all people. Hey, don't be shy, please. <laughs> don't be shy. Okay, here is uh, the list uh, of uh, uh, the goal that uh, we can reach working uh, on, uh, on the mental training. Leadership, communication, goal setting, motivation, anxiety, management, anxiety, concentration, confidence, touch, visualization. So as I said before, Bonnie and Annette, uh, in the next section, uh, they are going uh, to speak uh, about this situation. I want to speak just about the leadership, because I like very much this, uh, uh, this argument. Okay. People think the leader is a chief. This is not true, absolutely, absolutely. The leader is a man or the woman that help the people around him and her to grow up. There is a great difference between the leader and the manager because the manager, they work on the number. The manager work on the budget. The manager work on, uh, on money. The leader work on the ideas. In the world, the great company, they, they are spending around 50, 50 billion euro to build manager with the leadership. It's unbelievable. But does it mean that in the moment we have the, a great crisis about uh, the leadership? Because uh, sometimes uh, in a leadership, in a leadership, no, sometimes in, in leadership is uh, the situation that help the people to grow up, to reach their goal. And uh, many uh, people, many managers, many CEO, they fail in their career because they are focused just on the goals. But they don't think that to reach the goals, they must work with the, the person, we must give the motivation to the person with them, around them. This is the right system. What does it mean in a basketball? Okay, if we want to have a success as a coach, we must realize that our player are the most important person for us. And we must put them in the best condition to reach their goals. Remembering them that the team goals are the most important absolute things, but, all, but they must have the personal goal. And the personal goal is very important. And we must work to help them to reach their personal goal. This is a, a, an idea, an idea uh, under the leadership. Now, uh, the, uh, the, the means of the leadership is changing because uh, people uh, 
till uh, three or four years ago, think that the, the leader was uh, uh, in the height of the pyramid. Now, the great uh, idea is uh, to transmit the leadership to the other people. For example, there is uh, a, a, great, uh, a great situation in, uh, in New Zealand. In New Zealand, for sure, you know, there is the All Blacks team, the rugby team, the best team in the world. Uh, and uh, so they have 87% of victory. And what happened in the last year? The management, the coaches transmit the leader to the player. What does it mean? Okay, the coaches decide the program, but this program during the week are the player that decide what they must do. And before the games, you know, for example, as a coach, we always have uh, the meeting, uh, speaking about uh, our idea, speaking about the job. Now, in, uh, uh, in, the, on, in the All Blacks team, before the game, just the players are alone in the locker room. And they decide the strategy. But what does it mean? The management transmit the leadership to the player. Not to the old player, to the best player, to the older player. That is great. That, this is not just in the sport, but also is in the business, in the company. A company can work if the leader, the man in charge, has the ability to transmit his leadership to the person around him. The characteristics of the leader is the personality. And also, as a leader, we must, we must know, we must have the knowledge. We must have uh, uh, the concept of skill, what does it mean? So if uh, I, I know perfectly my job, but uh, I must know how to transmit my knowledge. This is a trouble because many times as a coach, we know everything but we have trouble to transmit our, uh, our knowledge. And uh, our team play bad. So I like to go around watching uh, some, uh, uh, some uh, practice for the youth uh, coaches. And uh, sometimes, because I, I like to understand why uh, they are doing, uh, for example, this drill. And uh, sometimes, believe me, I don't understand nothing. And at the end of the, the practice, I, I speak to the coaches and say, hey, please tell me, what uh, uh, are you doing? And I was very surprised because this coach, young coach, he knows everything because he spent money following cleaning, following the video. But um, his team played bad because he, do, he, he doesn't have the ability to skill to transmit his knowledges. We are speaking about the, com the communication. And if I know that I have this problem, OK, I, I work on this problem. OK, now I want to tell you uh, something about my new job. Uh, uh, as Anita said, uh, since this year, I'm working as a mental coach in uh, Virtus Bologna. Virtus Bologna is, uh, at the moment, uh, the best team in Italy. They are the champion, and so they have a lot of the great players. So this is a different structure uh, in uh, how to work uh, uh, in a gym. So, uh, as a, so I'm, I'm, an, I'm an old coach, and uh, in my idea, and also I think also is your idea, uh, and also when I was player, okay, how was my daily schedule? Practice in the morning, individual practice, and after break, and after in afternoon, practice with the team. So here is a completely different situation because uh, the players are available from 9 
a.m. till 3 p.m. And every day, every day, players, players uh, have the different individual schedule. Individual schedule. So, and this schedule change every day. Okay. They, uh, they are in the, G they are um, in uh, the sportive center, nine o'clock, from nine o'clock to 10 o'clock, uh, they have a breakfast together. From uh, 10 to 11, they work on the individual skill with all the physiotherapy, uh, or uh, just they work uh, uh, with me, they work with the, the coaches about on, on the shoot, about the basic. From 11 to 12, they work with the uh, whole team, is uh, team practice, team practice. Uh, one hour and 45 minutes, maybe two hours, no more, no more. From uh, one to two, they go on to work on the individual uh, uh, skills. Uh, the stuff is the big stuff, because uh, uh, there are uh, the head coach and uh, six assistant coach, and uh, one uh, assistant coach must follow two players, but not just follow two players uh, in the practice because uh, they have uh, a, a complete day giving them information, uh, show them a movie, a personal movie, show them because also there are the two different coaches for the offense, for the defense, for the defense. And this is very important, very important, because the, uh, the, player, the player in uh, this period in the sports center in a day, they, all, they have all the information. At, the, uh, at the two o'clock, they finish and they have the lunch together. And at three o'clock, they are free. Uh, one, uh, when uh, I, I speak about that for uh, some different person, my friend, and they are very surprised because they say, eh, but just one practice. No, no. The practice on the team is from 11 to one, but, uh, the hour before, they work uh, individually, and the, the hour after, the same. And so, it, this is a great idea, but it's an NBA structure. And uh, I, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure uh, just a uh, uh, few uh, people, few, few teams work here. And so, it's uh, very important because, uh, for example, you see uh, player number five, uh, we put just the number, so is uh, the, the best point guard. You see, uh, we have uh, time of the mental coach. And uh, every in, uh, let me see if, okay, you see. Uh, for example, uh, ba, 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 let me see. No, sorry. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, this one, this one is uh, Marco Bellinelli. Marco Bellinelli has an is a, is a, is a individual schedule. And uh, also, uh, this one, the, the number nine, is uh, Milos Teodosic. And they, they follow every day. This, this is great. This is just uh, in, an information uh, for, uh, for you. Because, uh, okay, maybe in this uh, structure, maybe it's possible to build this structure, uh, this, uh, this system, this system. But as I said, uh, the stuff is a big stuff, big stuff. And uh, the Virtus Bologna is the only team in Italy that they had an idea to work with the mental coach. It's the only team. Great for me, for <laughs> because it's been a, a great thing for me. But so just that, because the other, and also some players, some players in this team, they had already a personal mental coach. But what does it mean to work, for example, with this player? Okay, when they, they ask me, okay, are you able to work in our team? So, but my first question is, but what? 
can I tell to Milos or to Bellinelli? They can, they, they can teach me, I can, <laughs> something, I, and I can learn from them. So, but uh, it's been a great um, surprise because going inside softly, softly, okay, has been great because uh, every day as a mental coach, I have uh, a, a little chat with them just to say, hey, how are you? Oh, what about your family? No, so great things because you know we are at the beginning. We are winning. We won the Super Cup. We won the two first game, and we are living the honeymoon in this moment. But I'm sure going on probably will happen the storming, and we must learn. We must learn to walk in the storm. And I think in that moment, probably my job <laughs> will be more important than now. Nothing else. Thank you for your attention. If you have some question, I'm here. Please, question. Go. For example. Yeah. Can you just, uh, just short example, if it's impossible, of course, if it's not some kind of secret? For no, you. no, it's okay. Uh, just some short part of that mental training. Exact okay. things, if it's impossible. Thank okay, you. so uh, it is a, is a good question because uh, so and in, a, in a my job and also we see in the, the second part of uh, this seminar. No, no, but... Uh, the, the most important thing about, uh, about uh, our job, but about, not just a mental coach, but as a coach, is to have uh, the right culture of the question. Make a question. Make a question. Uh, how do you feel? How was your practice? And uh, how can I help you to... Uh, uh, to, improve, to, to improve your practice. And the culture question is uh, one of the best things absolutely to, to work as a mental coach. And when I have the approach with the players, but not just the players, because I don't, work, uh, I, I don't work just with the players. I work also with the coaches. I work uh, with the, the head coach. The coach is a good friend of mine, but no problem. So I always start with the question. <laughs> you are thinking, hey, the question is it's is normal. But believe me, it's not so normal. It's abnormal to make a question because we don't use to make the question. And I suggest you, when you are with your players, make a question. Start with when they are so young, make a question. Because you know when uh, the baby, the baby are so, baby, they said, hey, why, 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 why? And going home, they miss the sculptor of the question. As a coach, if we are so able to make a good question and our player realize, because it is tough at the beginning, but when they realize also to give us the good feedback, Will be great for us, for the outdoor job. I don't know if I am as well. So, but we, we spoke. Uh, we, we are going to speak about uh, in in the second part about. It. My question is that how can you have the players who has some troubles, for example, some tragedy in the family? Uh -huh. Okay, so uh, it, it's great. It's, it's a great question. So, and uh, as, as I said, as I said, the most important thing, Georgi, is to think that uh, you must be close to your player because in, a, in all situations, when they have the successful and, on, and when more, when they have troubles. Because as I said, the relationship that we have with your player is absolutely the most important thing, more important than the one, three ones on defense, pick and roll, blah, 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 blah. And 
you must close and you must have patience because when you work with um, the youth people, youth people, sometimes youth people needs more time. There is some girls, some players, some uh, boys, they, uh, they need more time than uh, their uh, teammates to grow up. And uh, sometimes we realize that, okay, this player is not a so good player, and okay, we don't want, we, uh, we suggest him to go in the other side. No, we must have passion, passion, passion. Passion is uh, the great, great, uh, Great, great uh, skill of the coaches. Fabio, we got some questions from the internet. The first, how to handle players who are earning uh, millions of euros? How does Virtus Bologna function? Do you work with coaches? Yes, I work with the coaches. I work with the coaches. Because I said uh, that before, my mission is to work with the coaches, not with the players. But here they give me the opportunity to work with the players I'm doing. I'm doing. So I work with the coaches because I think uh, so the coaches, uh, uh, the, the, the job of the coaches is very tough. It's very tough. And I work with the coaches, uh, giving uh, them uh, some suggestion. The first, for example, how to organize uh, their life. So you know in the, uh, your, our job, and uh, not your job because I was a former coach, so, and, and our job is uh, a daily job. <laughs> when you finish uh, uh, the practice and you go home, okay, uh, you can't close the door and leave out uh, uh, basketball, no. <laughs> you put the basketball in a, in a, in a, in our room, in our family. That's is normal, but uh, so it's sometimes it's trouble. And I suggest to the coach, I suggest to the coach to have uh, a program and to dedicate for themselves at least 45 minutes an hour for themselves. For example, working, okay, I, I must give you the, my, my, my experience, my experience. So I realized when I was 60, that, and uh, I had to do something for myself. For this reason, I tried to, uh, to play in my, uh, my daily program, making something for me, to dedicate just for me. For example, just, uh, I don't know, playing golf. But uh, I know that uh, the, the day is so short, but f to dedicate time for me, I must, for example, to wake, uh, wake up uh, early in the morning, early in the morning. But it's very important to have time for ourselves. And we must break, we must put our mind out of, uh, of our job, just for 45 minutes a day, no more. Okay. Uh, it's about uh, leadership. Uh, yeah. uh, we saw example here, uh, Phil Jackson mm. and uh, Greg Popovich. Mm -hmm. And my question is, if they switch the teams, let's imagine this, mm -hmm. Greg Popovich to take Chicago yeah. and Lakers, mm -hmm. and Phil Jackson to take San Antonio, Duncan, Ginobili, mm -hmm. uh, could they lead them on successful way with other groups of people? I'm, what's your opinion about it? They could be the same leaders, or they need to select mm -hmm. group mm -hmm. to lead them in a okay, coach, so coaching job. Yes. I think when, uh, when uh, uh, we are speaking about uh, such <laughs> player, such coaches, uh, okay, for me, there isn't uh, so different. Because, uh, for example, if uh, uh, Phil Jackson uh, uh, was a coach uh, in San Antonio, uh, and uh, probably he could have the same successful. Why? 
because uh, he, he, he worked with the Chicago and he had successful. He worked in uh, Los Angeles, he, he had successful. But, uh, and, um, okay, this is a, is a this thing. But for sure, because Phil Jackson, for example, I don't know how is the philosopher of uh, Popovich. I, 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 I know something about uh, uh, Phil Jackson. Also because uh, I, follow, I, I, I was so lucky to follow some training camp uh, many years ago. So, but um, he, he has got uh, a, has, uh, a great leadership, but close him always, uh, there was uh, George Manford. George Manford uh, was a, um, is a mental coach. Probably Popovich has a different system, but for sure he has, a, he has got a great leadership. Because if you don't have the leadership, you can't reach such results. <laughs> Yes, Fabio. Uh, fortunately, we have some questions from online, uh. from people watching online. So, uh, the first question is, how to communicate with players if you don't speak their mother language? <laughs> so it's a tough if, one. Okay, but you know that's so. Uh, uh, now the English is uh, the language of the basketball. <laughs> Because uh, now I'm here uh, and uh, I'm speaking uh, uh, to the coaches. I'm using the English. No English is not so good. But uh, so there is also uh, just uh, another language, the body language. Body. The body language is one of the most important things. Because, uh, for example, uh, sometimes uh, we have uh, troubles uh, to, uh, to explain something, but m maybe because I am Italian and the Italian people are a little bit crazy, they try to transmit uh, the information using the arm, using the head, using the legs. So, but, uh, okay, but if, if uh, uh, as a coach, I, I go around to coach, for sure, I must, I must learn English. I, I, I coach in Russia, I coach in, in, in Bangladesh, I coach in, 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 uh, in Africa, in, uh, and also I coach here. So if uh, I don't speak English, I can't do the, my job. So, and, but it's normal. I think it's uh, great in education for the children. Now, you know, for example, if we want to, um, to find a job, a job, now is a, no, uh, before they ask to know uh, your uh, mother language, but another language. Now it's unusual, you, you need, at, at least two more languages. In our job, we must uh, work uh, and we must uh, okay. have, uh, we must. Uh, uh, this is, for example, as I said, okay, I want to de dedicate to myself during the, my, uh, during the day to stop. I study English and I study Russian, I don't know. But I, I'm doing something for myself. <laughs> the next one because we have some more questions. Um, this is a good one too. Um, is it easier to work in women or in men basketball? Wow, great. <laughs> Thank you very much. Who is Nene? <laughs> it's uh, one of our um, okay. uh, good followers. Great. <laughs> great, great. Because this is always the question during the clinic because people know that uh, know, uh, know something about me because I work with the woman and I work with the men. So, I want to tell something ad in advance, okay? Uh, and uh, for me, it's been great to work with the women, because with the women, I won. With the men, I <laughs> I, I, it's been tough. But with, there is a great difference. Great difference. Because uh, uh, basketball is basketball. But, uh, okay, as a coach, as a coach, we must realize that our relationship is uh, completely different because uh, with the woman, we have uh, the emotional relation. With the men, we have the physical relation. And you say, what does it mean? Very simple. So just, uh, for example, with the men, 
Okay, because I coach the men during the practice, we can have the fighting situation. And after, at the end of the practice, we go together to drink the beer. Okay, we are friends. Everything cancelled. With the woman, it's very different. Because if you have uh, some conflict, if uh, don't use the right word, hey, the woman remember for all season this situation. And uh, it's been very tough to work, uh, to go on. In, uh, here in front of me, the, there are some great players. And <laughs> they are smiling because they, they agree. And I used to make uh, this example when uh, in the cleaning, when uh, people ask me, which is the difference between uh, coaching men and women? OK. If you are so able uh, to get uh, the trust of uh, your team, woman team, and uh, before the game, for example, and this is a funny example, and they say, hey, girls, today, for winning the game, and you must uh, crush your head against the wall. They said, hey, coach, where? The man, they said, why? This is different. This is a different. And uh, I suggest, uh, I suggest to, uh, to the coach that are working with the men, they must have an experience in the female basketball. Because uh, the people consider the female basketball so just uh, a weak part. No, believe me, if you want to grow up as a coach, have an experience with the female basketball. But when you go to the female basketball, you must go there and you must have the, a clear idea. You must be the best coach, not 100%, 115 percent, because when you go inside in the court and you think, okay, today, today uh, okay, this year I'm here, uh, I'm working with the female coach, but uh, with the female team, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm already thinking about the next year because so next year I would like to work with the men, uh, with the, the main team. A, hey, the women right now they understand that and they, they kill you. They kill you. They don't give you. They don't give you the possibility to work if you are in a female team. Just spending time thinking for the next season. You must give the girls the best, our best, but not a hundred percent, a hundred fifty percent. Also, because when you go inside, hey, they make the X-ray. They watch you. How you walk, how you shave, how you dress, and you you just say, hey, but what, what do you want to say? That's believe me, in the female best of this is very important. It's very important, very important. Last thing, when I, I was in the practice, in the first practice with the female team, at the end, a, a, a players uh, tried to to cry. I was very disappointed. The first first practice, and this player also played in the national team. And I asked to my to my assistant, "Why? Maybe I made something. I said to them uh, to her something." And uh, my assistant said, "Hey, Fabio, you have to learn this thing. Why? During the practice, uh, you like to tell, hey, brava, congratulations, they, you are doing a, a, a great job. So, But uh, you said to almost to the old player, and you forget that player. And that player, and, and, and I learn, if I want to tell brava, congratulations, I must tell to all players during the, during the practice. Because if you forget one, once, maybe she start. Why? Why he doesn't tell me nothing? Maybe I did uh, something wrong, and, and I learn. Okay, in a practice, in a practice. Okay, if you must tell to the people, brava, congratulations, or no, not. But if you get someone, is great troubles. Okay, just uh, a couple more. <laughs> uh, we have one of our coaches uh, asking, uh, can you please recommend 
uh, a mental training um, training mm. um, where is it worth to learn so can no, you, I don't understand sorry. can you recommend some yeah. mental training uh, training uh. like where can we learn mm. mental training how we can learn or, or ah, which, okay. which school yeah, yes, yes uh, I think okay, th okay. this is one of so I, I, I can tell uh, uh, how, uh, how was, uh, uh, how was my, my experience my experience Okay, as I said at the beginning, uh, so uh, I, 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 I coached in Cameroon. Uh, we reached the opportunity to uh, work, uh, uh, to play in the pre-Olympic Games. But uh, okay, um, one month before the, the minister of the sport said to me, Fabio, we don't have money. We gave up. Gave up. And I said, okay, I must change the focus. And uh, I have to decide to work uh, in a mental training, and uh, I start uh, uh, with uh, my my first course has been in Italy and after the state. If you go around, you can f uh, f uh, you can find a lot of uh, uh, the course. But please pay attention, pay attention, because uh, uh, as uh, I show you after the gold medal. Uh, so, uh, in this moment, there are a lot of the courses, but some courses are um, very poor because they give you a certification in 48 hours, paying just 50, 50 hours. It's impossible. As I said, I'm working as a mental coach since 10 years, and uh, if you decide you must check, you must ask information. And uh, so, for example, uh, this girl, this man, okay, uh, uh, can get in touch to me and I, I, I can give him the information. Great. This is, is very important because uh, you are making an uh, investment on, on yourself. Uh, in yourself. But uh, you, you, you must do something something that important important and uh, don't uh, push away the money okay uh, another one this is another um uh, question should a coach adjust his half time speech uh, according to specific situation uh, for example the team is favorite and is leading or the team is in favorite and is trailing and so on uh, can this be mentally prepared even before the game, like what would yeah, you yeah, say, yeah, or yeah, is yeah, it so. something that you just react yes, yes. Uh, according to how yeah, the game yes, went? Yes. Yeah, I have uh, an idea. Uh, always when I have to prepare the game, uh, 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 if uh, I have a good team and also you have, uh, uh, have a weak team, every time I, I prepare the game, uh, thinking, to, uh, thinking to play as an underdog. So, and uh, I try to transmit uh, um, some situation uh, how uh, to be ready, but uh, uh, it is, uh, the preparing the game is a, a job, is a weekly job, weekly job, because uh, during the game I, I can't invent nothing. I can't invent nothing. So, and uh, uh, I like uh, very much, uh, I like very much uh, to give uh, not just uh, technical information about the player, about uh, the opponent, but also uh, I like to, uh, to give uh, some uh, information about, uh, for example, the mentality of uh, our opponent. And uh, so, for example, I like, uh, uh, to prepare to prepare in the game in a, in a, this way uh, I decide uh, at the beginning of the um, uh, of the, the week okay I decide the captain of this week mm -hmm. uh, and this is very important for me because I all players will be captain for a week. And uh, at the end of the week, uh, I have a briefing with, with them, uh, with these girls or these uh, these men. And uh, this this girl, this man, so make uh, during the, the the week interview with uh, their teammates. 
they terminated. But uh, when I decide the captain, uh, I said to her, to him, um, some suggestion, some suggestion. And I don't speak about uh, the technique, about the uh, A. Try to, uh, to send uh, some, uh, hey, today uh, we, we must work uh, um, tough uh, because we must be ready so for, uh, for Sunday, but not just uh, about the technique. We must work uh, about the concentration. For example, so just if uh, I speak to a player, uh, I, I used to give a, play, uh, and a player one goal a day. Uh, for example, uh, so uh, I speak to the player and say, hey, today, focus on the dribble. What does that mean? You have the complete attention on your practice, but focus on dribble. And the day after, focus on the shoot. That, just that to improve their concentration, nothing else. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think we have um, time for one last one. Um, um, Okay. Do the best players earning a million of euros need a mental coach also? And how does it work with Daudosic? Okay. I think everybody great. is really great. curious great. Be <laughs> about because, that one. Because uh, people think that the great players, great players, uh, <laughs> I'm a great player, they, 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 they don't need the, the mental coach. Okay, my experience uh, with the Virtus uh, has been, in Virtus there are some former NBA players. Uh, as you know, <laughs> there is uh, Milos Teodosic and also ba, 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 so, uh, Marco Bellinelli is something. Uh, okay. Um, this uh, great player, uh, for example, the American player, they had a great experience when they were young in the college and the high school with the mental coach. And this experience uh, have been good experience or sometimes not good experience. But they believed in that. In the state, uh, the position of the mental coach is very important. There is a difference in the team because there are the mental coach and there are the psychologist. The mental coach are, play, are um, uh, uh, are a man or woman that help uh, the player to grow up in technical situation, giving them trust, giving them uh, uh, some suggestion. Uh, the job of the psychologist is a little bit different. For example, you know for in, a, in the NBA team, there are some uh, tough situations. Afro-American uh, people, uh, drug, uh, drug uh, troubles, uh, um, troubles with the family. The, the mental coach can help, can't help, can't help. For this reason, uh, this is job for the psychology. Okay, just one last one because we have uh, tons of questions coming in. Um, uh, what is the difference between psychology and mental coach? This is, you can but probably. I, I think, I think, uh, okay, I'm not, I'm not psychology. Uh, so just, uh, I want to tell you, uh, it's funny. I'm, I'm starting to get a degree in psychology, but it's so tough for me. I'm 70 and uh, so just, you know, when you, you, you are young, you, uh, you have the fresh mind, but you don't, you don't have the, the, the good will to study. Now, I'm no fresh mind, and I, do, I have the good will to study, but I don't understand nothing. It's so difficult for me, it's so difficult. But we must cooperate, we must cooperate. As I said, as I said before, uh, we must work together, we must work together. As I said before, so uh, the mental coach help. Uh, usually the mental coach is a man that had the experience in the sport, uh, the former uh, coach, former uh, uh, player. And uh, uh, he knows uh, uh, what happened uh, in the locker room. Uh, he knows uh, 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 how to work with the player uh, about uh, some troubles and the technique, giving some suggestions. So, and the psychology is different. Maybe, as I said before, 
there are some players with their troubles, uh, no troubles uh, in uh, um, their, um, uh, when they, they are young uh, about the drug. So th this is a, an idea, but we must work together. And also this question will be very important to make this question uh, to Annette uh, to the Bonnie. Okay, just one last, <laughs> one more. Um, what is more important for a coach, uh, to be a leader or to be a teacher? Ah, okay, good, good, good question. Good question. In any case, in any case, if, if I want to, I want to be a, a, a good teacher, I must be a good leader. I'm absolutely yes. So just say, if uh, uh, if I am a good teacher. But uh, I, uh, good teacher means that I know, uh, in, uh, I know the, my job. I have the knowledge. But I'm not a leader because uh, I'm not so able to transmit the, my knowledge because it's useful. It's useful. Okay. Uh, if I want to be a, a good teacher, I must be a good leader. If I want to be a good leader, I must be a good teacher. Yeah. Okay. Um. Thank you very much, Fabio. Okay. I think we will. Uh, I think uh, Fabio you. deserves thank a you, round of applause. Thank you. 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 Th